So let me talk about the Doctor of Medicine program. The University of Queensland offers a four-year MD program. It's a graduate entry program, uh, like uh, uh, many medical programs uh, around the world. It uh, follows a sort of an integrated four-year program with four year-long courses. Um, and uh, we've been rolling this out uh, over the last two years. So uh, Irvi is part of the first kind of well, the pioneering group uh, of individuals uh, in that sort of first rollout of our new program. But with an eye on what we're seeking to achieve, there are essentially six main sort of uh, graduate outcomes that we're looking for in our graduates. Yes, uh, we're looking to be a safe and effective clinician. Uh, but we need you also uh, to be critical thinkers, scientists, and scholars. When I was at medical school, the corpus of knowledge in healthcare doubled every five years. Today, it doubles every 72 days. Uh, so we need to equip you, our future graduates, with the capabilities uh, to keep on top of the areas and use the best available evidence to inform uh, the advice we provide to our patients. Therefore, we never stop learning. For the next 40 to 50 years after you graduate, learning uh, and teaching uh, will be a core part uh, of your clinical practice. But we also need you not only to care for the individual patient in front of you, but also to advocate more broadly for improvements within the healthcare system, being able to pivot uh, between the care of individual patients and the populations we serve. And we do that as members of teams. We do that as partners with our patients. And going back to what I said briefly around at the heart of medicine uh, is, uh, is people. Uh, we need uh, to continue to develop uh, your innate kindness and compassion and ensure that the challenges of training to be a doctor uh, doesn't interfere with that, because that is in many respects one of the greatest gifts we bring uh, to that clinical consultation in addition to our medical expertise. So the medical program, four years, um, early meaningful clinical experience, uh, opportunities for students to choose through in year two uh, and year four, uh, and an increased focus on transition to practice to ensure that you're uh, enabled to make a smooth transition to internship here in Australia or residency in Canada, if you so desire. So um, the, um, I might just dash back, um, the, the, the four-year program is another way of, of saying that, in the first year, it's mostly classroom based with some sort of early simulated clinical experiences seeking to develop your history uh, and clinical skills. Skills in year two uh, split between classroom uh, and uh, community um, opportunities in general practice, as well as uh, ward based experiences and outpatient based experiences to begin to develop your skills working as a member of a, of a multidisciplinary team. Year three, which um, uh, Pranav will be able to speak to uh, in, the, in the future program, not too dif different to what Pranav uh, is experiencing, largely uh, embedded within the clinical environment, rotating through the core clinical disciplines of medicine, surgery, uh, psychiatry, obstetrics, and pediatrics. Uh, in year four, building on what's gone before as part of a spiral curriculum, seeking to integrate that more effectively and recognizing our responsibilities, not only to identify and care for the acutely ill patient, but also those with chronic conditions. So sort of uh, beginning to sort of recognize the added complexity uh, of medicine and the holistic role that we play uh, as doctors as part of that uh, advanced practice with an opportunity for an elective uh, and then a focus, as I said, on transition to practice to smooth the transition to internship uh, and residency. As a research intensive university, uh, there are also opportunities for you to undertake research uh, during your program that could be part of uh, a student selective or the scholarly project uh, in the new year three. Uh, but some of you may choose to do an MPhil or a PhD and be our future clinician research leaders, individuals pushing back the boundaries of knowledge, um, like the two individuals I mentioned earlier, Ian Fraser and Michael Wagels. Uh, but for all of our graduates, irrespective of whether you seek, you identify as a future clinician researcher or clinician educator, we need you to be curious and capable of drawing upon the best available evidence to inform clinical decision making. Now, as I said, being a medical student uh, is about developing those human skills as well. And we recognize that the, the challenges, the volume of information, the skills that you're developing uh, is, uh, is, is intense. Uh, and, uh, and the pace is fast. Uh, so uh, it is important uh, for you to look after yourself, important for you to identify a family practitioner, important for you to reach out to help when you need it. And there are a range of services and supports available, including the medical school student support team. Uh, and uh, in the second half of year one, 
Uh, we can identify a personal advisor for you as well to walk with you uh, during the four years of your program. But the UK Medical Student Society is another sort of great uh, sort of support network within our medical program through its social support, through its advocacy, through its uh, academic uh, outreach. Uh, and, uh, and I think it's uh, important to recognize that being a medical student is more than what happens on the ward uh, and in the classroom. And uh, there are some sort of wonderful pictures of some of the events that the UQMS provide. In many respects, I think the greatest gift we give you at medical school are your colleagues or your classmates, individuals with similar aspirations and ambitions. Uh, the picture at the bottom of people in pink scrubs is from Sports Day, which uh, Irvi and Pranav uh, have to look forward to in their uh, in their final year, pink scrubs worn by our fourth year students. Um, although they call it Sports Day, I'm yet to see any evidence of any sport being played uh, on that day. So let's talk about graduate outcomes. Um, there is no shortage of employment opportunities for doctors around the world. No shortage of employment opportunities for graduates of the University of Queensland. Uh, what we have seen uh, amongst our onshore international students, international students studying here in Australia, is that at the point of graduation, by far the majority choose to work here in Australia. Uh, on average, around 87% uh, of our graduates uh, uh, undertake an internship uh, and uh, a pre vocational vocational training here in Australia. That may be because uh, they have fallen in love with Australia or fallen in love with somebody in Australia. Um, but uh, whatever their reason, uh, there is no shortage of opportunity and our Canadian students are uh, very much valued uh, by the healthcare system. Uh, similar sense of humor, similar sort of culture and, uh, and, and attitudes uh, and, uh, and, and, and very much prized uh, within our healthcare system. Of course, uh, some of our students choose to return home uh, or undertake their residency or internship uh, elsewhere. Uh, and these are amongst the destinations um, uh, for Australian students, um, Singaporean students, uh, and for those who are seeking to undertake a Canadian residency, um, our graduates who choose to return to Canada, we recognize the significant competition uh, for that return match, uh, particularly for overseas trained uh, Canadian uh, applicants. Um, our students are incredibly competitive when it comes to that match and, uh, and, and match uh, in a range of different disciplines uh, across uh, Canada. So I have a final question for you, and it sort of um, mirrors, I think, where we started right at the beginning, recognizing you have choice. Uh, as a university, we are committed uh, to making a difference, committed to pushing back the boundaries of knowledge. If what I've said has resonated with you and if you want to make a difference, uh, then please consider joining us uh, at the University of Queensland.